the artist, Andy Warhol, Wayne Thiebaud, or Roy Lichtenstein. Each of these artists considered pop art as an expression of the American experience at that time, a movement that arose in the late 1950s. It was immediately seen as a novelty, and the art described memories of things past and the everyday objects that filled the lives of Americans after World War II. Andy Warhol is probably best known for his multiple silkscreened images. Roy Lichtenstein for his comic strip inspired paintings, and Wayne Tebow for his store and bakery display paintings. The most controversial, as well as the most famous of all of the American pop artists is Andy Warhol. He went far beyond conventional painting and in fact did far more printmaking than painting. He also made films and he even directed nightclub entertainment. Images similar to this self-portrait, are repeated over and over again as photographs silkscreened onto canvas were then overlaid with brilliant harsh color. Andy Warhol was born about 1928. He wouldn't disclose the real date. And his life centered in New York, where as a young man, he won instant notoriety when he exhibited stencil reproductions of Brillo soap pad boxes and Campbell soup cans. He produced an almost endless succession of pictures of celebrities, Coca-Cola bottles, and soup cans, using rows of repeated images. He remained a cult figure until his untimely death in 1987, always brilliantly promoting himself even more than his art. A print from one of many series this pop artist designed, Flower shows us four stark shapes on a field of grass. The flower silhouette is only slightly different in each version. The shapes shift in outline, color, and value, but the general impression is of one flower repeated. Nothing of a flower's fragile, impermanent nature is suggested, only a heavy artificial quality. Each one is flat with no form, like a paper cutout. Andy Warhol's Campbell's Soup Can Tomato is a print that is detached and impersonal. No hint of the artist's feelings is evident. Warhol has deliberately given us no interpretation, no meaning, and we feel we're looking at a replica of the object itself, enlarged to overwhelm us. We recognize what it is, and we wonder why the artist chose to show us something that is so commonplace. Well, mechanical reproduction is a key feature of our society, Warhol said, and therefore he felt that it was a legitimate artistic technique. He used the idea of duplication over and over, often making 30 or 100 or even 200 almost identical soup cans in a work of art. <laughs> 